Hi friends. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Where are you are? So today we are going to learn about validation in Spring Boot for the JSON in a schema level. So Spring Boot JSON validation with the schema. So for that we need some dependency. So the dependency is we using here is network entity it is a json schema validation library so it will be uh, we can add it as a dependency in the our palm.xml because we are using maven so this library will support for the jackson library jackson as a library and it will it is supporting the json schema of 2019 to 9 so it will be very suitable for spring boot so for that if you see here I have added the dependency whichever we have discussed now network entity one json schema so uh, and for that um, i'm using the 1.8 java and a dependency two tools are frequently on and off at the time and you know lambda to get the annotation support for the setter and getters and uh, other things like you know uh, no constructor all constructor and uh, uh, toasting hash word and all so we can use that this is the my pom.xml looks like i'm using the 2.6.0 spring boot version so this is my sample project which i have created you know so if i open the application the properties only server dot was there is there 9696 and if i open the person dot schema dot json this is the schema i want to write and uh, for what in the sense to validate the json which i am going to send like this i am going to let's see i'm going to send this object Understood? so this object i want to send uh, as a json from the postman object so want to validate that json one here actually means like you know suppose here i am sending as a true true and you know vaccination process uh, so uh, first of all I have two objects in my request actually uh, I am constructing the request based on like this pass button person this is my rest controller if I open if I elaborate this one so, with validation I am using present so request string I am passing request string means this json enter json this enter json I am passing so that request string will come here and it will go it will first it will pick this whatever that i have written right that uh, schema json level that schema will pick it here using this class path one and after that it will use the json schema factory whichever i have added dependency right from that it will json schema factory get instance with you know that a draft plan was seven so here the draft plan is 07 so that's why i am using here as a you know get instance of space version and version flag was 7 we have you know other versions also v5 v4 v6 v7 but for now we are just using v7 because we have used draft plan as 07 in the schema so get schema I am passing that uh, input stream of the schema as three, and that one I am uh, using here as a JSON schema. Here in the 37 line, I will get that entire schema and using the object mapper. And uh, using that object mapper, I am creating a JSON node. And that JSON node I am valid, I am passing to the validate method. Validate method will do simply you know validate the JSON whichever we got and. Uh, 
with we have uh, earlier we have defined in the person dot schema dot json right in that one if you see right a list of validation message if there is any validation error or empty list there is no error means the return type was like if any errors were there in the sense it will return the validation message if nothing is there in the sense errors will set will be empty and here here i am doing this one error combined and i am just appending that one you know and sending to the as a runtime exception if size is greater than zero in the sense means if size is greater than zero means the well, uh, errors were there so that is the thing i am sending if nothing is there in the sense it will come here and it will just pass according to the uh, request whichever i have constructed a model and it will return the same request as it is this is the one so now going into the schema level so here these are the common things whichever uh, we will define so here i in the id level to differentiate from the different schemas if i have uh, we can uh, for that we are defining the id and you know id keyword and person dot schema json just whatever the name you want you can keep nothing nothing is matter actually so here i am using the draft 07 we can use some other things also this hash must actually you know i'm i'm making the title as vaccination passport i just uh, you know uh, using some other example actually so vaccination passport in the description new vaccination passport means these are the just metadata actually if you think like up to here this is the metadata of the schema and additional properties if additional properties were there in you know like you know uh, some other properties were there but i don't want to validate in the sense you can keep it as a false or else true and type object because the type is the corona passport request is there right that is the type and definitions if the definitions definitions means what are, what are the fields inside my request so if you see right my fields for passport and person so coming to here that in the inside the definitions person and passport if you see right definitions will end, end here at the end correct so definitions in the person the type is object because if you see i will do like this so person person is like again one more object so person is there person type is object any properties what what were the properties for there you know name social security number age phone number so come here name type is string social security number age integer you know i forget to make this one also in this way to compare with model class without using kebab uh, case in object no mapper so yeah social security number and that type what i'm using string type age integer correct right age integer and uh, phone numbers big decimal and you know phone numbers phone numbers i'm using the reference me reference mechanism so dollar reference will refer will refer in the definitions means it will go to the definitions so definitions where it is definitions check definitions phone number the, what is the type list so array what were the item types integer present i am just keeping as an integer means like you know let's say we will we can have some things right so we will see there so this is the person schema level and then after come to passport same type of data and the description properties vaccination process begin you have opened this one right passport one action process began billion vaccination process ended billion test negatives billion test data string has been sick with corona boolean vaccination name string so redefining the some of the vaccination names here 
means covaxin and covid shield i am defining as a enum and type is string means the vaccination name should be in between covaxin and covid shield hmm? let's see when we are setting the request time required things vaccination process begin means i am telling like everything is required whatever i have created so in the passport one so this is the phone numbers one and here in the you know definitions level up to here definitions were completed actually if you see here where is that up to here definitions completed so now we are digging into the properties level to the particular request so person we have we have a property like a person and passport so we are refining here again a reference definitely inside the definitions person the description is owner of the corona passport definition definition passport corona information required information required things were person and passport both were required understood right so if i run the application yeah if you see the port application is started 9696 so i'm going here i'm just you no know, first in a success scenario you will see 8525 just for an example see my object came without any errors and all now in the passport i'm making as a c just think it will saying like java langda runtime exception please fix your json passport dot vaccine name doesn't have a value in the enumeration co vaccine co shield understood this is the one validation and now again and hit it back okay password and now we are sending here the list of the phone numbers i am sending one as a string again Please fix your JSON personal phone numbers. String of found integer expected. In the you know this is the trace level. If I go to the bottom here message. Please fix your JSON personal phone numbers. String of found integer expected. This is the uh, clear cut message. And uh, again here you know. Vaccination process began. Nullah. It is saying here again. This fix your JSON. Vaccination passport began null found. Boolean expected. Correct. This fix your JSON. Passport dot validation began is missing, but it is required. We'll see on you know gear clock with a spring boat integration in security authentication. Thank you.